Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, West Indy Collection. Um, I cannot sit, so I'm on my knees. I'm not sitting on my butt, everybody. Like I was saying before, I'll be um, making a whole nother video about my recovery experience. So, here it is. Okay, so... I had booked my recovery home like a couple weeks out to my due date of me getting my surgery. And, you know, it started off with me, um, what did I do? I honestly can remember if I looked on Instagram or Facebook, like at pictures, and I just, I saw some nice pictures, look like a nice big old home and everything. Um, and then, um, aha, uh -huh, I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. I think I called this one recovery home and they said that they were full or that they would have like enough girls. So the one lady was saying, here, I'm going to give you a number of such such who, you know, I know. And um, they had their bodies done by your doctor before. So like we really like know her and stuff. And um, so it started off like that. So I got in contact with this administrator and, you know, she, you know, was really like um, consistent with me and making sure, you know, like she answered what I needed answered. And, um, you know, as far as like payment and everything, me booking and that they were able to let me come the dates that I were willing to come. Um, and being that, you know, they were telling me how like, you know, with these whole recovery homes, like a hit or a miss. And I did call one recovery home, but they were booked so it's like i didn't want to go through all that keep having to go like through research finding all these homes i just wanted something really nice you know so i found this real good recovery home well at least what i thought it was called rural palms recovery home in miami florida and that's what i thought that i was gonna have a spa room or something that they had for everyone um you know, just like all this good stuff. And it, like by the pictures, it looked so nice. So it's like I was already expecting that in my head. And so, you know, and, uh, you know, things are included. And I didn't know at the time I got all this like stuff, like shopping for my BBL. I didn't know like most of the stuff like will be included, like some of the stuff. And I didn't know that. So anywho... It got closer. Um, it said you have to make a two hundred dollar deposit, or whatever, prior to surgery. So I booked the two hundred deposit. It was either through Zelle or PayPal. I paid through PayPal. So basically, a uh, a week due before your surgery, you have to pay the balance in full. Which to me, I'm like, like my own doctor's office doesn't even ask for the whole balance in full. But I guess everybody handles business differently. But, you know, I was still thinking this was legit and everything. So, it came to that day. You know, I was very, you know, consistent, ready to pay, you know. <laughs> and so, I ended up reaching out first. I said, hey, you know, I'm ready to pay, da, da, da. She was like, okay. Stuff like that. So, we proceeded. So, I pay her a thousand. I owed a thousand, like thirteen dollars. Um, And I was even trying to see if I was trying to like, get like a discount out of them because I felt like I was paying a lot more than a typical recovery home. Like I was paying like one ninety nine a night. And then so she was able to I think maybe knock off like ten, twenty dollars for me. So I paid a little less. But I was still paying over twelve hundred dollars. So I'm thinking, you know, oh, this is well worth my money because she who else is gonna take care of me? So it was, it was kind of like I didn't have a choice. So it was like I was still willing to pay that type of money because who else would take care of me, you know? So, and I'm sorry if I'm not looking directly at the camera. I'm using my cell phone since my camera is about to die. I have to uh, go to the store and see what's going on with the battery situation. Um, they forgot to give it to me. So, anyways, um, so I didn't like the fact, all right, here's what gets me. I didn't like the fact that I paid all this money and I didn't look at my email right, um, right away. She was supposed to be emailing me the receipt. So, I did look at my email right away because I'm like, okay, it's just a receipt. Boom, boom. So, a couple, I don't know if it was an hour, two hours, some time later, I ended up checking my email just randomly. I click on it and it goes, hey, we had merged with such and such, such um, recovery home 
and this is the your new location and your new massage therapist i'm like what i automatically just like i was started getting upset I, I i even was crying and everything because i just felt like i was being like scammed and stuff i'm like i'm no i'm not both i know i didn't just pay this lady money and then she switched the location on me and you guys it's not even a fact even that they like switch locations on me because at the end of the day i just feel like as long as i'm taken care of and the place is clean that's all that matters but my thing is why would you to me that's so unprofessional why would you have me pay you all this money and then send me an email why you had plenty of time to tell me about the situation before what she said was that the old place I think had some like maybe maintenance or something issues in the household so they didn't want to keep the girls there anymore if you knew that this was happening and she's like, I was like, what do you tell me? She's like, we didn't want to tell you because we didn't want you to find a place last minute. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter. It's not your decision. It's my decision, whatever. I want to choose to do with my money. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt like that was so unprofessional, you know? Like, I just felt like that was so unprofessional for me to pay you this money. You're not even giving me a heads up prior. She had, she had the last week, the day that she told me that my payment was due and within one week, she had the opportunity to tell me and she didn't. So I, it just it just ruined my whole vibe. So what happened was she was like, well, we could always refund you. Da, 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 da. But my issue was it wasn't like, yeah, I was upset about that part. But my thing is, OK, if this is this, if this other place is official, as long as it's clean, I'm being take up, taken care of. That's all that mattered to me. So basically, um, she ended up calling me. She called me, explained to me and everything. She kind of made me feel better, calmed me down. She said she was going to send me pictures. She said it is a new home, so it's not like they're going to have everything. What she ended up doing was sending me pictures through Google. Because at first, she gave me that address. Well, because the address was in the email. But I couldn't really pinpoint it. Like, I was still, like, a little confused. You know, it's Miami, so, you know, they probably have recovery homes and actual houses. You know, it was still new to me. So she was like, it's there. That's the address. So she sent me pictures off Google. I kind of wanted pictures of the actual place of people being there. If I see people there, I will believe it. You know, not pictures off of Google. But anyways, you know, I was still trying to find some hope. Like, I hope this is not a scam. I guess I'll just have to wait what happens. I was like, she was like, you could talk to the owner, Maria. She's the owner of, in the recovery home that I'm supposed to be going to, you guys, it's called Prestige. I guess they have, like, different locations in Miami. And the good news is, she said the um, the home that I was going to be in was the Coral Gables home. And she said that, um, she said that that's actually closer to my surgery, which is three minutes away. To me, I'm thinking, oh, well, that's even, that's perfect. You know, that is perfect. Um, because my other location, it wasn't going to be that far away, maybe like maybe a 15 or less drive. So shoot, three minutes is cool, you know? Um, so I'm just, just trying to hold myself together. Um, and then she should try to, uh, I think, give me the lady Maria or I. I'm the type, I don't like waiting around for people. I kind of take the effort myself to go out and do the research and start reaching out to folks, getting answers. So eventually, you know... It kind of like worked its way in a circle and I ended up talking to the lady Maria. She was like, oh no, this is not a scam. You know, all this stuff. And it's like, part of me, I wasn't thinking it was. And the part of me, it's like, I was thinking like, oh my God, this is a scam. Like I'm being scammed. I just paid them this money. So, and at this point, it's like, it's best that I just, you know, just wait. You know, just best that I just wait and I'll just have to see when I get to Miami. <laughs> and this, you guys, doesn't have nothing to do with my actual doctor's office. Um, I know it's kind of weird because I didn't even bother to ask my doctor for recommendations, which is odd to me. But you guys, I don't know what I was thinking because I did not go through them through my, my doctor's office at all. So don't do not put two and two together. So basically, um, as you guys have seen in a vlog, I did end up finding the recovery home. It was official. Um, so I'm at the recovery home. Um, the girls to me were very, very nice. Some of them were even very, very helpful because they were in more a better, like feeling more well than I was at the time anyways. So they were like helping me and stuff. If the nurses weren't, they were very helpful. Um, I think the first night, yeah, the first night I was there, we all pitched in for some pizza not that we had to, but it was just something nice that we wanted to do. Well, that one of the ladies suggested. It was like a nice little piece of party. So I didn't mind tipping in like $10, you know? Um, 
you know, and I was really hungry at that. But I, to be honest, you guys, there were girls there who were like complaining about stuff. There were like two other girls who could relate to me because they booked through the same recovery home, World Palms. Um, they could relate to me. So they knew and they knew. And I guess they were going to speak to the lady about how getting some money back from the, um, because at this recovery home, they had TVs, brand new TVs, but they weren't hung up. We weren't able to watch cable. We weren't able to watch, we weren't able to watch nothing on TV. And what turned down to it was, um, there weren't no like remotes, like they were lost or whatever. So we were like in rooms with no TVs. My room was upstairs. Um, she decides to give me a room all by myself, which I'm kind of happy for. Um, but I did spend most of my time downstairs, like on a couch and stuff. Cause I just felt more comfortable. I kind of liked being around people, not just up in my room. But then as days went on, they started telling me to go sleep in my room and stuff. And, um, you know, I had to keep going, getting up, going to the bathroom, but the bathroom was very close to me. One of the ladies were nice and let me use, um, have one of their like pee urinals because I didn't have one. So I don't, that ended up helping me throughout my experience. One of the things I didn't like is how they had like the plastic underneath the bed sheets. Like that was irking me. Um, but I managed, I made it through and I'm gone. Like I, even one of the girls who had my doctor, she only stayed three days and left. I guess she got homesick. But that wouldn't have been me. <laughs> I would have just stayed, you know, unless I like, felt horrible actually being there. But to be honest, I felt like the food was good. I wasn't complaining about the food. There were some people who may have been complaining about the food. Or maybe it wasn't enough food. Or maybe it was just more healthy food. But not really food that they would have pre um, preferred. But I was not complaining, you guys. I was not definitely one of the complainer type females. But I'm not going to lie. It's like when there will be a new girl come around. Because in a recovery home, you're going to see girls coming and going. Um, and it seemed, it just seemed like certain girls were still there. Were like kind of like mention it to the new girls about complaining about the things. And I kind of thought that that kind of sucked because... They're new just walking in the house. Like, don't try to ruin everybody's experience. Everybody may not feel the same way you feel. Whether we all know what the um, circumstances is in the house, you don't have to just keep bringing it up to new people. You know, like, let them get their own experience for themselves, you know? But at the end of the day, I mind my business. <laughs> I was cool with everybody. It was very nice. Um, I thought it was very, very nice. The day of my birthday, which was September 20th, um, one of the nurses bought me a nice Victoria's Secret perfume. She didn't have to do that. And she ended up giving me balloons, I think, either the next day or two days later, like two balloons. And then the owner, I finally met her, which which was Maria, who was the one who had called me and made me feel better about this trip. She actually finally came by to the house because a lot of girls were saying they do, they never saw who she was. Even one of the workers, um, one of the nurses, whatever, said that she hasn't been better and she worked for her. So she finally came by. So it was kind of nice to be able to meet her. And she said, yes, like she's still trying to find the remotes for the TVs. But she was so nice. And I guess she surprised me with a nice cake. Um... Uh, a nice cake balloon and flowers and that was just so sweet of her and I just you know I'm not really here to bash this recovery home or anything I'm just strictly talking about my experience and how I thought it was a spam at first I said spam scam at first but all in all I just made it the best like at the end of the day we're there to heal and get better I'm not gonna be complaining too much about the food because to me the food wasn't even that bad it was stuff that you know I obviously like to eat or could eat or deal with um so yeah I just wouldn't make the best of it you know they had arnica tea so I've been you know drinking the arnica tea which I thought was good they had plenty of fruits they gave us magic juice which is mixed with like Pedialyte and stuff and that's the thing I have bought some Pedialyte here for my place and I tried it tell me why I poured it in my cup thinking it's like juice it like tastes like medicated in a way I even poured in some water in it and I still didn't really care for it I'm like no wonder they mixed it up with different other juices because of how it tastes. But, uh, you know, like just drinking water, having, you know, pineapples and stuff, um, having lemonade, having oatmeal, all healthy. I like the food. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> um, 
And I don't really have nothing bad to really say besides, well, we couldn't really watch TV. I mean, there were times downstairs in the main living room, there was a TV and we were kind of watching TV. But it's like, you're in so much pain and stuff. You're not even going to really want to pay attention to the TV. You're not. Most of the whole time, like, I was there. And I'm sorry if I'm talking so loud. I don't know why I'm talking so loud. <laughs> but most of the time, like, I was there. I was mainly just talking to other people, you know, and just getting well, walking around, having certain snacks, the, talking to the nurses, or however the nurses help me most of the time, you know? Like, you have to think of the bigger picture. So, and that's pretty much all I have to say, you guys. Um, I, I'm, like, there was, like I said in the other video, the driver did took me to the wrong location. But other than that, the driver, Marcos, he was very, very nice and caring. He gave all of us ladies a rose one day. And he, um, he usually makes sure I got on time to my appointments. He, he usually do. I think just one time he got me a little late, but that's I only didn't make it big deals because it, to me, it wasn't really a definite that I really had uh, this massage at a specific time. I was kind of just kind of going, hoping I could get a massage at that time because I thought that's kind of what we agreed on. But it still, to me, maybe was unsure if it was really confirmed or not because I never got a text. But other than that, like everything just worked itself out. Even like at my doctor's office my uh the faha store was literally like a block away so there was even a time i walked to the faha store and then i ended up getting picked up from one of the um ladies from the house um so i think everything just worked out so perfectly you know um and then yeah as far as the massage therapist she was great she was amazing i did three massages with her and she came to the house, she would do them in the living room. So it's like, yeah, we were just out and open. Like, we really didn't have no privacy. <laughs> Obviously, from the front door, though. People were coming in and out or whatever. But it is what it is, you know? So that's pretty much what I just want to say about my recovery home. So I I don't know if I mentioned it, but the second home that I ended up staying at was it's called Prestige. Um, and they have different locations. Um, and basically, they, I guess they partnered up with Royal Palms um, Recovery Home. So if you guys have any, any like advice or if anything you guys want to say about it, please feel free. I'm sorry. Please feel free to comment below. But that was my experience. And just make sure you're talking to the right people, you know, um, like the people in charge to just make you feel better. Because I honestly thought like I was being scammed. And I just thank God that it was all real. <laughs> And as far as cleanliness, I did always see the nurses cleaning up. Only one time when I got in the shower, I didn't notice the nurse clean it before I got in. But other than that, I'm always seeing them cleaning, cleaning the bathroom, spraying them down, mopping floors, fixing the room. So it, the cleanliness wasn't like a big issue to me or anything, anything at all. So, and they were all, like I said, even the nurses were pretty cool too. So, there you guys go with that. The recovery home, do I recommend it? Sure. Just make sure it's legit. And just focus on getting well there. That's all I got to say. All I got to say. That's the main focus, you know, and... Of course, still pay attention to, like, reviews and stuff. But I feel like sometimes you can't go always go based off what people say, you know? Like, everybody's different. But for me, I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> Alrighty. Even though Airbnb was my first choice, but I kind of glad because it's, like, the type of massages, even if you have, like, a friend or someone to help you, you actually need a massage therapist because a massage therapist is only licensed to know what they're doing. And it's for you to get that fluid out your body. So I kind of like having that um, assistance. And it's very important that you take your good care of yourself after post-op. Very. Don't be quick to get on a flight to go back home. I was in, at the airport and they were telling me how there'd be girls who just had surgery and they're already trying to go back on the flight to go back home. And it's like, you know, at the end of the day, people are just going to do what they want to do. Like, the day of my surgery, when I was getting surgery, the anesthesia guy, he said they literally had to cancel on two girls because they came in, they ended up drinking water within that um, hours after 10 p.m., and they weren't supposed to. And they, they do not play about that. They do not play. 
you have to like listen because the moment they ask you and you tell them it's a wrap <laughs> it's a wrap so just listen and do the right thing and take care of yourself like baby you're going to heal your time will come okay so that's my experience you guys with that have a great day like this video subscribe to my youtube channel <laughs> okay all right you guys thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed bye